New Orleans has the highest per capita murder rate of any major city. Why? Why is because one, dealing with COVID-19, violence, everyone has guns, uh, the ability or the lack of the ability to resolve a conflict uh, without reaching and pulling a gun. Also, as it relates to accountability, you know, um, low-lining offenses, you know, when they don't get bail or they're not um, restrained, then we're just seeing how these crimes escalate. That was Mayor Latoya Cantrell live on Face the Nation here on Channel 4 Sunday morning. She and three other mayors of major cities were asked about crime. As early into 2023, New Orleans is seeing a major surge in violent crime. Everyone needs to be held accountable, and that's how we're focusing on it. Holistic approach in the city of New Orleans. Definitely uh, seeing a decline, moving in the right direction. I have no doubt that people who watched it were just rolling their eyes and saying, this is such baloney. Clancy Dubos is WWL-TV's political analyst. She kind of just glossed over it and said, oh, we've turned the corner. I don't know anybody in New Orleans who feels that we've turned the corner on gun violence or violent crime. According to the crime statistics released today by the Metropolitan Crime Commission, there have been 19 homicides in the first three weeks of 2023, compared to 20 this time last year. Shootings, carjackings, and armed robberies also appear to be down compared to this time in 2022, but much higher than four years ago. We're moving in the right direction, but I tell you, we definitely need to hold people accountable. We've been reporting on a surge in car thefts, and the Metropolitan Crime Commission said they're seeing them at an alarming rate as well, with 597 cars being reported stolen in Orleans Parish so far in 2023. That's an average of 27 a day.